and only sent in Ghana constitutes about 20% out of about 27 million of the country's population. These adolescents ranges from the ages of 10 to 19 years and are faced with many challenges regarding their sexual reproductive health and rights without proper guidance and counseling. They take improper decisions that lead them to unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases as well as HIV AIDS, preventing them from a brighter future. The 2014 Ghana Demographic and Health Survey Report places Bronga Hafu region as the second region with high teenage pregnancies. Available statistics from the Bonga Hafu Regional Health Directorate indicated that about 10,476 cases were recorded from January to October 2015, and 280 of them fell between the ages of 10 to 14 years, while 10,196 of them were between the ages of 15 to 19 years. Hope for future generations a Ghana based NGO in its commitment to ensuring gender equity and empowerment, particularly for women and children, in partnership with Palladium and funding from UK Aid, embarked on an initiative that seeks to provide adolescents with rights information on their sexual and reproductive health and rights, and also skills training to empower them while helping to make informed decisions on issues that affect their sexuality. The HFFG brought together over 80 adolescents at an event dubbed Star Camp at Sunyani in the Mrongahafu region. The participants were drawn from districts in the region, which were German South and North, the Mar Municipal, the Mar East and the Mar West. According to the program's manager of the Hope for Future Generations, Irene Sawete Jato, many of the adolescents have some form of information but are unable to apply them and take decisions appropriately and that poses a number of health threats to the future generation. The government together with the partners sat and said if we don't do something now things might get out of hand so that was when UK aid came through with this project. As NGOs what are our roles because we work, we complement what government agencies are doing. And we came on board to reach out to, especially out of schools, who might not be reached by any agency. And even when they are reached, we are looking at um, the numbers. So Hope for Future Generation currently is implementing this project in nine districts in the Brown Afro region. And we are targeting most young people who are out of school. We are hoping that the next demographic health survey that is done, Brown Half Region should have recorded the least number of teenage pregnancies. And also, when you look at the National AIDS Control Program, their HIV Sentinel survey, at least the good thing about it for this 2015 report shows that HIV AIDS prevalence have come down. Meaning, whatever we are doing, is having some impact. You might not see it now, but you can see that you will see the results gradually. That doesn't mean as the project ends, we end. And that's why we are using sustainable means, working with traditional leaders, for them to get the input of their commitment and their contribution towards um, sexual reproductive health and rights. We also work with community structures. So wherever we go to a community, we work with existing structures. We don't run prior programs. That is why we work with the Ghana Health Service, because they are the agency responsible for service delivery. We work with Ghana Education Service because of the role they play, both in schools and out of school. What we are hoping to see is the role of parents in all this. And as HFFG, what we do now is getting to the doorstep of parents, for them to know that they are also partners we want to reduce teenage pregnancies. Parents play a role, and it's a critical role, in showing their children the right way. And sometimes they are not able to show them the right way because they lack the information. So as part of our community work, we bring parents, we go to churches, we go to the mosque, we go to the marketplaces, anywhere you can see parents. We teach them how to adequately also inform they are young people for them to make informed decisions. Moses Nana is a representative of Palladium in the Brunga region. 
as a country, we don't seem to have the one clear policy that we can all pull along in the same direction. What we have now is different agencies with their different policies who seem to be pulling in different directions. So my call is that let us sit down as a country and harmonize these policies because the way it is now, we are even confusing the target population, that is the young people that we claim to be uh, protecting. Because if we target them with different missions, they get confused. They don't know which one to take and which one to give up. And I also take this opportunity to call for comprehensive sexual education in our schools. I know Ghana Education Service, they have a component of this in their curriculum, but it is not comprehensive enough. To this effect, they were taken through topics including gender roles and norms, menstrual and personal hygiene, communication and effective use of resources, and thinking outside the box to make some meaningful decisions. HFFG took the opportunity to educate the adolescents through various counseling sessions. They were empowered on how to be firm and say no to sex or negotiate for safe sex as well as the right use of condoms when they want to have sex. The adolescents were also educated on the need to check their HIV status and prevent sexual transmitted diseases. <laughs> We are adolescents. This is why we encounter so many problems. But that problem is not easy. So, when we are very far, we are very far from the area. Any problem is not about our part. And it's now with the help of each and every. I pray that we are so blessed. We are very happy to be here. We are so much of our friends. We are very happy to be here. 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 And a skill training, yeah, you be. Maybe by now, many the way is making soup. Or by now, we see the way is making soup. Be making. Or by now, you know, yeah, 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 you see. These were some of the activities that facilitators of HFFG took the adolescents through in empowering them to be self-sufficient, effective collaboration, and teamwork. <laughs>
That to prevent them from unwanted pregnancy and shorten their future dreams, HFLG also took them through employable skills training, including the production of liquid soap, beads making, making pastries, pedicure and manicure skills, and barbering. It is expected that the skills training would give them comparable advantage to be gainfully employed for a meaningful livelihood. Coordinator for the WCN Reproductive and Health Rights at the Bronga Half Region. Rose Amuya Balabori emphasized the progress made at the end of the 5 day empowerment activity. We start something immediately, we go back to the other homes. We also said that even the star camp, being the star camp, means they are going to be the stars to shine in their various districts, in their various homes, in their various communities, and therefore they are the people they are peers who look up to. Therefore, whatever knowledge and skills they have acquired, they are supposed to transfer them to others who they went back to their stations. Even when you look at the past ones, they first organized two camps. The first one was the Sunyani, which was for two districts. Sunyani means in Banda districts. The second one was also in Atebo, for Atebo and Mountain districts, and then two districts. Actually, even the people who learned through and who were taking through several skills in the start camps one and two are the people, some of them have even come to be facilitated for this for this program. And then when they have put their practice, I mean they are skills into practice, and then when you are meeting with some of the villages, some of them are not in some are also doing soap and some are doing pastries and some are also doing sandals and to say, we hope all these things are forms of entrepreneurial skills that we have given to them and we hope they are going to utilize them here. We are looking at them, they are very, very interesting. And even based on the answers they gave or the questions they asked, it meant that we have meant business. And some of them are going to ask that and they take their TNT from here, they are going straight to look for material that they can use to produce some of the skills that we brought them. The end of the five-day camp saw the empowered adolescents, boys and girls voicing out their concerns and how they can be meaningfully engaged on sexual reproductive health and rights of adolescents. They also shared concerns with key stakeholders such as the Ghana Education Service, Ghana Health Service, National Youth Authority and traditional authorities to step up their efforts and review their policies on sexual reproductive health and rights for the benefit of the adolescents in the country. There was an exhibition where stakeholders had the opportunity to see what the adolescents have been able to produce through the assistance of the facilitators at the Star Camp. It is therefore hoped that the guests made will be impacted on their colleagues in their respective societies. Yeah.